Hello, boys and girls. Miss Thompson here. I just wanted to check in with you, um, especially after the past couple of weeks. We've been working really hard with our brand new books, learning all about the world. And as you read at home, I wanted to just give you a couple of reminders to, of some things that we've learned and some things maybe to look for um, as you are reading at home. Um, if you're reading on Epic, if you are listening to a story being read to you by someone at home, you can do all sorts of things um, that we have learned here at school. So the past week or two, um, we have been reading the three Billy Goats Gruff. Something that you can do with every single book at home is something that we did with this book. We talked about three big parts of every book. The first being, where is the cover of the book? The cover of the book is this first front part right here. This is called the front cover. The second thing to look for is the title of the book. That's going to tell you what you're reading about. So here, the title of the book is The Three Billy Goats Gruff. The third big part of looking at the story um, and kind of seeing what you're going to be reading is the author who wrote the story. In this case, it is a man named Paul Galdone. And so those are three things every time that you can look for before you start reading. So with that being said, we have been looking at our stories in class and already you are readers. I wanted to show you, we have some posters here that will be up in our classroom. One thing as a reading is we can look. We can look at all the pictures and see if we can discover something that maybe we had no idea about before. Um, without even reading words, we can look and we can see if we notice things. The next thing is we can think. We can think, what does that remind me of? Or, um, oh, I think that looks like something, you know, any sort of connections that you can make. We can think. The next is we can read. You guys are already on your way to reading all sorts of words. Um, you got this, you can do it. And then the next one is we can learn. We can use the pictures, we can use words that we already know and we can learn from our books. So just a couple of reminders as you go through each book at home um, and it'll just really help you practice what we're learning in here. So um, enjoy and happy reading, everybody.